Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hacker Stacker channel. And I thought I'd answer a question that was posed to me the other day. But let me preface that question with this. My stack is composed of three different kinds of silver, and these three types, along with gold, represent the four reasons I stack what I do. My sovereign coins is for liquidity, my constitutional silver is for SHTF barter, if it ever comes to the point that these old things become the coin of the realm, and the bars to keep my dollar cost average down, and gold for portability. I understand many will say that everything I stack is liquid, and I agree. I would have no problem taking any of this to the, any of the LCSs in my area and quickly converting it into cash. But ounce for ounce in that situation, I will get more money for my sovereign coins than anything else. Folks, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications on new content, because your support is what's going to grow this channel. So getting more at the store if I have to cash in is the reason I chose to stack Eagles, Maples, Krugerrands, Kangaroos, Britannias, and Philharmonics. They're all sovereign coins. But the question was, why six and why those six? Yes, I'm aware there are other sovereign coins, such as the Koala, the Panda, the Libertad, the Kookaburra. So why don't I stack any of those? The answer lies in the container I store my stack in. It only has a set size, and it can't get any bigger, so it will only hold so much silver. This means I have to put my entire stack into this container, and I had to make a choice of what sovereign silver I was going to stack. And honestly, these six ended up being a purely logical choice for me. These six sovereign coins are available at any given time at the three LCSs I buy from. True, some of the coins may not be available at one store, and other coins may not be available at another, but as a whole, these six coins are generally found in all three stores collectively in the form of cull or second form. And while I may be limiting myself to sticking with off-quality purchases, I'm able to pick up and choose what I want to buy because I'm in a store and not ordering online, a method that can leave one with some less than desirable silver. And in case you haven't noticed, I don't have much in the way of ugly silver. Even though 98% of my stack is used, mine shines. Yes, I could buy these coins online and other coins as well, but I'm not a fan of purchasing sight unseen. Besides, very little of my stack has been purchased online. I figure about 2-3% to has been purchased from an online dealer and that's just fine by me. The rest has been purchased locally, which I much prefer as it keeps my dollars local. And besides, buying local and paying cash, there's no record of the purchases that can be attained by an overreaching alphabet agency of the government. In other words, they can't know I have this. And honestly, I have yet to see a koala, a panda, a libertad, or a kookaburra, or any other sovereign coins in any of those three stores' seconds selection. Yes, they will sell the BU or AU versions, but I'm cheap and I prefer to buy used, especially when I can buy off-choice silver that's clean and shiny. I can save a lot on the premium compared to buying the new stuff. And while the premiums I pay for these coins is usually higher than the other kinds of silver I stack, the deals that I get on buying used silver in bars and constitutional helps offset the higher premiums of the government minted silver as these are much lower than the online dealer's prices. So overall, I keep my dollar cost average down by buying the used bars and constitutional and this offsets the slightly higher premium of the Sovereign Coins instead of buying generic Buffalo Rounds. And 
Should I ever need to convert some of my silver to cash for whatever reason, I'll get a higher per ounce cash return with sovereign coins than I will with the constitutional or bars. So my choice of stacking these six sovereign coins is driven by two things, my storage restrictions and more importantly, my local market. So that is why I stack these six sovereign coins. Keep on stacking and I'll see you in the next video.